Uh, finally, if we can go to the first item of additional business, Madam Clerk, if you'd read that, please. Yes, sir. Finance Department will give an update on the city's credit ratings. Ms. Queen is here, and welcome back from your visit to Parts Unknown. And it was fabulous. Can Good. I say that? Yes. Fabulous. I'm glad to be back, though. We're, we're, looking, we're looking forward to the uh, slideshow and a later additional business item. Oh, that's I'm a sure. great idea. I could show you all my pictures. Uh, exactly. There's uh, like 850 of them. We'll worry about that another time. <laughs> Never but mind, for today. right? <laughs> but for today. <laughs> okay. Well, good morning, Mayor Pro Tem and members of the committee. I'm Tammy Queen with the Finance Department. Uh, we wanted to give you an update on credit ratings today. Uh, Doug Beeler, the city treasurer, and I had the opportunity to present to the credit rating agencies a couple of weeks ago and as part of that just as a little background we always provide them kind of a how is the city doing from a economic and demographic uh, perspective um, we give them an update on our finances and we uh, kind of hit hard how did we end last fiscal year how do we um, expect to end this fiscal year so we made them very well aware of the deficit um, that we're trying to close that Scott just spoke of and then we talked to them about the budget of course at the time We talked to them. It was still the submitted budget and not adopted um, but they were you know, they're confident in our ability to get all of that done and um, And issued their credit rating based on that report that we provided them So wanted to give you just an update on that as a reminder. These are our ratings as they appear on the um, On the scale that the rating agencies use they each use kind of two different scales, but they're similarly situated this is our general obligation credit and our appropriation backed credit all of our ratings uh, in these two credit areas were um, affirmed at the levels that you see here with a stable outlook so that's good news I uh, wanted to provide you too just a look at all the other credit ratings as well kind of in context together this includes our business type activities water sewer and airport as well uh, we've talked about this before um, when we did a debt presentation to you we kind of laid out for you sort of how the credit rating agencies look at our credit it's a combination of quantitative and qualitative factors uh, they use the uh, rating factors that you see listed here including economy and tax base our finances our management our debt and long-term other long-term liabilities like pension they're very interested in that and then standard and poor's in in addition uses the institutional framework score as well um, but they use that to give them a grid indicated rating and it will say you know well based on your score on all of the quantitative factors this is how the city would rate then they use the qualitative factors to raise and lower that score to the rating that we ended up with so that's that's how they end up doing their methodologies they're very clear um, they're 50 page documents that describe them um, but they are uh, lengthy but clear so moving straight into what Moody's had to say in their most recent report uh, again they affirmed our ratings uh, with a stable outlook they always go through um, our credit strengths and weaknesses uh, that's pretty highlighted pretty visibly on the first page of their report uh, they indicate from a strength perspective we have a large and stable tax base we're a regional draw for lots of different industries uh, that we have stable financial performance uh, supported by strong fiscal management and available liquidity outside of the general fund those are positives for us uh, the weaknesses that they see are that we have an elevated debt burden I don't think that's a surprise to anybody here we have um, higher debt than our peers in this rating category um, we have a large pension burden um, as do most cities of our size we have below average general fund reserves and a below average socioeconomic profile. And when they're looking at that, they're looking at things like household income and how it compares to others in our rating category. Other parts of the rating reports that Moody's and Standard & Poor's both do, they will give kind of their justification and rationale for why they gave us a stable outlook, as well as uh, lay out any factors that we could do, things that we could do that could lead us to an upgrade or a downgrade. So their stable outlook reflects uh, the continued trend of stability in the local economy and our financial performance. So, and, and that's supported by the fact that we did pension reform and that we have a five-year financial plan. Uh, that they stress that throughout the report, as does uh, Standard & Poor's. They are very interested in our ability to stick with that plan as we move forward. That, that will be um, an important factor that they are watching very closely to make sure that we are sticking with the plan that we've laid out uh, because that plan has a plan to get to 
two months of operating reserves, our goal of 16% fund balance um, in five years. The factors that they cite that could lead us to an upgrade would be, you know, just continuing to have surplus operations, so having more revenue than we, than we actually spend, which would help us grow our reserves. Uh, they'd like to see a significant moderation of debt and pension burdens, and then um, some tax base tax base growth and diversification. Uh, we need something kind of new and um, a little bit different for them to look at us in a different way and, and think about us for an upgrade. Things that we would happen that could lead to a downgrade would be any declines in reserves, so a result being from weak financial performance. Um, the inability to grow reserves in proportion to our budget. So what they've noticed is our budget has been growing steadily in the last five years, but our reserves are actually declining. Um, that's of concern to them. And then any increase in our debt profile uh, could, would be of concern as well. So that's a summary of what Moody's had to say. Standard & Poor's um, had similar comments. Uh, their strengths that they cited for us would be that we had an adequate economy. Um, we've got a broad and diverse metro area to draw on. They do um, give us credit for having the Twin Creeks area north of the river that is available to expand our tax base. Um, we hit that pretty hard when we talk to them. Uh, we point that out that, you know, you can still see a lot of cows in Kansas City when you uh, move through the Northland and even, you know, parts on the east and south side as well. And that, um, you know, that, that actually has potential for us, and they, they give us credit for that. Uh, they indicate that we have strong management with strong financial policies and practices. We have adequate budgetary performance, though they do note that we had a surplus in the general fund in fiscal year 15. Across all funds, governmental funds, we had a deficit. So that's kind of a caution to them. They're watching things like that. We have strong budgetary flexibility. Um, and again, they're citing that five-year plan that says we're going to build reserves. And so sticking to that plan will be extremely important as we move forward. And they say we have very strong liquidity. On the weakness side, uh, same story as what Moody said, weak debt and contingent liability profile. That just means we have really high debt and pension burdens. Um, our debt service, governmental debt service plus pension payments is over 20% of governmental expenditures. And that's very high compared to our peer cities in this rating category. And then, of course, they cite what we all know, which is a failed renewal of the earnings tax would have significant budget issues for us. Moving on to kind of that place where they say, why did they give us a stable outlook and what could lead to an upgrade or downgrade? Their stable outlook is because we have good, strong management and an adequate economy. Um, they would consider us for an upgrade if we could improve our economic indicators substantially while still, you know, either having balanced or surplus operations and keeping pension funding going. So that's kind of getting all the plates spinning in the right direction at the same time. Uh, factors that could lead to a downgrade would be that if we don't, um, we don't do that basically, if we have deficit operations and we lose some of our, our budgetary flexibility. Um, this slide you've seen before, uh, it's a repeat of the presentation that we gave you last fall about debt, and it kind of speaks to why credit matters and why we talk about it and we sort of harp on it on a regular basis. Um, it reflects the spread between different rating categories. So if you're a AAA, you're paying the least, obviously, to borrow money in the capital markets. If you are a AA, which is the next rating level down, you're going to pay a little bit of a premium over what a AAA city would pay. And that's about 20 basis points or 0.2% added on to maybe a 30-year bond issue, because that's what these are 30-year credit spreads. Um, if you move farther down into the rating categories to an A, you could be paying um, 60 basis points or 0.6% more. And that, I'm looking at kind of the very end of the graph most recently. You can see that spreads have been much wider in, in prior years. This goes back to 2010. And I think if you went even farther back into the um, l last decade, you'd see even wider spreads between that. So that's why we continue to talk about credit mattering and uh, that it's something that we need to monitor so that we can maintain access to capital markets and you all can do the projects that you, that you want to do and we can get access to financing. So with that, I am glad to answer whatever questions you have. Well, uh, I'll just note um, <laughs> one of the other things that I think this graph shows is um, 
when we've gone back out to the bond market to, to refinance past bonds, I think this illustrates why we do that, uh, because that's real money that you're showing on that graph. Um, the, the other question, though, that I did want to ask, um, just to give um, – uh, some context. <laughs> when we talk about cities that are within our rating category, Tammy, can you just give us a couple of examples so that we understand kind of who our competition is probably the wrong word, but who we're kind of talking about comparing ourselves to? I think Indianapolis is in that category. Uh, Denver is in that category. Um, there are others, but they're not coming to mind right now. I, I can get you the list of our AA-rated peer cities. I'm not sure we can share the actual Moody's comparison that they provide, oh, but we can. I can send you the list. Well, I think when, because mm -hmm. um, I know we talked about in our pre-meeting, uh, sending this out to the council later today, uh, maybe if you wouldn't mind just putting a couple of those uh, cities down in that email uh, that you send. Will do. Just to, to give that context, that would be great. I will. Um, otherwise, any other questions from committee? Um, well, I'll just further note that uh, when we get into our next round of budgeting, I have a feeling that some of the same themes that you identified and the ability to upgrade and downgrade, uh, we will talk about again uh, when we get into that. So, Correct. Um, well, thank you very much, uh, Tammy. Yeah. I appreciate, uh, we appreciate the information and the report. And if there's nothing else uh, for the committee to consider, we are adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>